Can he actually hold these things? I think he can. Of the cutest that I've ever seen. Also the creepiest. Okay, there you go. He's a baby, he's a good boy. Whoops, somebody did a dunkle. Welcome to Adventure Fun. <laughs> Guys, it's springtime, it's Easter, and the grasses grow. It's grow gooing. We got grow goos everywhere, guys, woo! We got the bounty collection all here, series four, and we're gonna dive into it right now. Okay, first up, guys, is the special key, our Grogu key, the Disney Plus channel. That's where Grogu got his debut. Okay, well, I got my Swiss Army knife here. It's got the colors of Easter, it's still Valentine's, but hey, love, that's what it's all about. Love, share the love, like, and subscribe. Like it, darling, just do it, hang around. Oh, it is uh, strapped in. We can put that in and pull the scissors out. I'm getting so efficient with this. So guys, look at that. It looks super cool. Grogu, it's the key to what? To his heart. <laughs> Give me your heart. Yeah, you have Mando all over you if you mess with him. So that's pretty cool looking. I love the key. Oh, and by the way, guys, here's the Razor Crest, the micro fighter here. If you wanna put the macro crest together, then go for the micro. Cause man, this is just too hard. So many Legos, man, it's super cool when you can put it together. You know, things fly out and doors open and all over the place. And you can just blast all over and then fly off into space. But man, if you don't handle this right and the Lego breaks off, you're toast. That's why we have our micro crest. So it's a Star Wars 75321, the Razor Crest Micro Fighter, 98 pieces. Well, that's kind of my speed. Under 100, I say under 100. And it actually shoots little Legos. <laughs> Uh, so you want to be careful. And then there's the top. You can see you got a little micro mando there. Well, there you got your finger. You can go ahead and go finger poking right there and just pull it out. Two bags! Ah, I thought 90 pieces could fit in a bag. This is getting so hard, man. Let's just cut these bags open. And before we go into blackout and we organize these things, here's the micro book <laughs> for your micro crest. Oh man, they don't come with words, just pictures. I don't know how to figure it out. Okay guys, we categorize these now by color and then within that we did it by shape and the anal retentive Lego dude says B for black and then G for gray, but the way you're looking at it's your right hand side. Oh. We gotta put the blacks over here and then we gotta put the grays over here. Oh, look at the pretty pictures. Just uh, drop and snap in the snapper and look at Mando's face. See, watch, I'll keep spinning it around. Do you see anything on that? Any face at all? No, because you can't see his face. If he did, he wouldn't keep the Mando Creed. So you pull it off and say peekaboo, but it's like, ah, they know you'd cheat like that. So they're not gonna put his face on a plus. It saves them about a penny. So let's go ahead and build our Mando. Look, there's our Mando. Oh, look at his little blaster. Oh, he's so cute. He go bless you, pew, pew. Like and subscribe, pew, pew. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to find a piece. That's just page one. Take a potty break, we'll be here all night. Oh look, and you got your computer deck on board. Don't let uh, Grogu touch any of the buttons. What'd that lady say? Grogu, that's a horrible name. <laughs> it's like, you grow girl, you tell us what name you ought to give them. She was saying what we were all thinking. <laughs> and also that dude with the long ears coming down. Yes, I can be a sycophant to anybody so much, you just get sick of my fanting, sycophant. Finally, get a little bit of color, orange, woo! And we put on his wings so he can fly. Three reds. These are the guns. We're loading the bullets up in here. And you push the red in there. This thing expands, this little lever, so we can go. That flies really far. And look, it's a satisfying snap, guys. When you put this in here, make sure that the top knob is facing up. And then watch when you push it in there. See how it just pops that out? So we got our two bullets right here. I'll get really close. Oh, that one we'll never find. <laughs> but hey, they gave us extra bullets. That is so cool, guys. Don't forget his jet pack, guys. Look at that. See that little hole at the top? So you have to pop off his head. This is horrifying. So you can put that little booster pack as rocket. Okay, so we'll pop off his head. Oh, don't look at his face. Yeah, we're just saving face. Okay, so he put his cape on, or his jetpack, right? And then you can put his head on there. He belongs to the dark side. <sighs> so cool. Now he's ready to blast off. So you know what? It'd be super cool, guys. So here's the setup. You got Darth Vader, bigger than life. And so you got the little micro crest buzzing along, and he's blasting him, right? Homer, you can't take down me, I'm Homer. And you blast him, pew, pew, and it still doesn't work. You're flying right into him, and he's gonna use the choke force to get you but then you jettison out. 
that smashes into him. And as he's spinning down, he's like blasting. Pew, pew, pew. And that's how you take out Darth Vader. Really, it's not rocket science, guys. It's just rocket pack. Woo! Next, Star Funko goes the weasel. You can see it's the Mandalorian with Grogu. Well, there's a smarter picture of him on the side. And then on the back, all the other ones you can collect besides uh, the Mando with the Grogu. And that's uh, 461. But I wanted him because... Because this is where they bonded. He actually saw his face. Nobody else has seen his face. And he sacrificed a lot, his own beliefs, to save a little Grogu. Yay! He's a bobblehead. Yes, I will do it all over again just for you, Gro. And you can see on the back, he's got his jet pack. I mean, it looks really cool. I really like this one for the Funko Pop. But this kind of makes it fun whenever you just need to knock him around, knock some sense into him. Come on, let him join Luke. Don't give him Beskar mail, the chain mail, you know. Gro needs to grow up and be a Jedi. But you know what? The guy who made the Darksaber was both Jedi and Mandalorian. He's going to be the next one. Guys, in case you haven't noticed, look, I'm ready for Easter. Guess who we just hatched? He grow good. Not a peep, but a blurp. And look at this. You can also see it here on the Easter egg uh, bag. Pretty cool. You got Grogu popping out of an Easter egg too. And you can actually see the Mando hat there. That's pretty cool. That's very colorful in Easter. And look what we have inside the bag, guys. <laughs> it's Build-A-Bear and Mando's bent gun. I don't know. What do you think? Does Mando look cuter as a bear? Ah, but he's still squishy. And, oh, I love you, Mando, for saving our Groku. I like you, man. And you can be part of the team, too. Like and subscribe. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Does he have music? Wow, that was long. I wonder if they have any more, if that was just it. That's it. I mean, can you imagine Mando as the bear? I can bring you in warm, or I can bring you in cold. Oh, come here, just give me a squeeze. Bring me any way you want. Oh, you're so lovable. Okay, guys, next. Speaking of our little Grogu and his master, I mean, he's the pad one, right? But he just ditched him. He says, I'd rather be with my big buddy, Mando. But hey, this is what they were like before. So this is Luke Skywalker and R2-D2 and Grogu the child. Oh, and by the way, and the maker of this is Cost Baby. Cost Baby, Cost Baby, Cost We Do. Oh, look at him. He looks cool. I like Luke Skywalker. And look, we got R2-D2. Are they bobbleheads? Let me see, can he move his head? A little bit. He shakes. And then R2-D2. Oh, yeah. And he's like, wee -doo -wee -doo. Let's go back to that ween. Next, let's look at the bounty collection here. Mandalorian the Child bounty collection. You can see it's Grogu's Hover Pram pack. And that includes the Hover Pram and some of the nasty things he eats except for a cookie. Which, a green cookie? I don't know, maybe it's made of frogs. I thought I'd have at least some chocolate chips, but I don't know with what he eats. I don't know if I'd trust that they were chocolate chips. And then you got the sides. He's looking happy. He's eating his frogs. And then on the back, a little bit more detail. You can see him standing in his pram, and it's a mysterious alien pursued by bounty hunters on behalf of Imperial Interest. You can see series-inspired accessories. Well, they're inspired because they actually got it from the series. So let's go ahead and open it up. Oh, they wrapped it really nicely. <coughs> Thank you. Let's see, we can get out his pram. That looks like an, an Easter egg. I mean, just the bottom half of it, right? But it looks kind of comfy, cozy, I guess. And I suppose this just snaps into place on the back. Oh yeah, that works. And then at the bottom you got a hole, which will go on the top here. Nice. That looks pretty comfy. And then we got his little blankie. There you go. Which you can put his nasty technical octopus legs on. There's one-eyed frog and his reprocessed frog leg cookie. 
But you know what? We don't care what he eats because it's what's on the outside that counts. Because look how cute he is. I'll go ahead and eat those spiders and get attacked by him and let him go after your head and try to suck your brains out. Ah! Can he actually hold these things? I think he can. He can hold his cookie. Look, he wants to share you a cookie. Look, he's going to give you something, guys. Have a bite. Now he wants you to share. Like and subscribe. And then we got the Bounty Collection Series 4, and we already put out Series 1, 2, and 3, so out of all these, which one's your favorite? Um, this one's in the top two of the cutest that I've ever seen. Also the creepiest, and I'll show you why, because here we go. We go from left to right, or you're right, you're left, and we start with number 19 over here. There you go, right there, where he's eating a tadpole. It looks like he's about to eat one. And then on the side, of course, just a different take of it. And then on the other side, you can see 19 through 24. So they already produced one through 18. 19, he's got a tadpole. 20, he's eating some cookies. 21, he's sitting in a big pot. And 22, oh, he's gonna touch a butterfly. I don't think I recall him touching a butterfly or coming close. Because, man, if they're off, I'm the nerd geek. Oh, I'm going out. He never touched a butterfly. If he did, was it actually blue? 23, he was walking in the snow. Then 24, he's got those nasty spiders crawling all over him. But he looks cute, trying to fend them off. I don't know what he's going to do. Some kung fu. He's got his hands ready. Either that, he's going to hurry and grab it and just swallow it. <laughs> man, if I could eat what bothered me, boy. Cool, let's go ahead and open them up. Oh, nice. You know, you don't have that plastic. You can just unwrap it and it keeps it just as nice looking. That looks really awesome. It's so like solid and the details are enough that it's cute versus the actual real Grogu where he's got all the wrinkles in his forehead and stuff. Not smooth as a baby's bottom like it is up here, you know. <laughs> he looks a little bit aged. Well, he's 50 years old, you know. He's got to show a little bit of gray hair and wrinkles. Okay, 20. Oh, cookie time, snack time. Now that's some real snacks, guys. Let's go ahead and do this one. Look, a little bit of potluck right there. And we're lucky because our grow goo's in there. You just can't take a bad picture of him. At least the bounty collection has done fantabulous with him. Here's 22. <laughs> he's gonna learn to speak English soon, but do you think, guys, when he learns to speak it, he's gonna sound like yogurt? No, butterfly, do not fly. You stay. I use the force to bring you back. Like he does with anything else he likes. What a naughty boy. You know, he wants the ball. And Mando's gotta, you know, as a good father, saying, you know, this helps fly the razor crest. <laughs> okay, so 23, he's walking through snow right there. And why is he walking in the snow? That brings us to our last one, number 24. Because he could smell lunch and he was hungry. And then these guys came out and said, Now you're our lunch because our mama's going to come get you. Aren't just nasty spiders, guys. You see a spider, squishy spider, see a spider, squishy spider. I tell you, that's got to be the creepiest one I've ever seen. But look at his face. He's so determined. Even when he's like frustrated, he looks cute. Guys, which one out of all these is your favorite for series four? And then put in the comments below, uh, not only your favorite out of all these here, but your favorite if you've watched all the others out of series one, two, three, and four, which one's your favorite series? My favorite series right now is the first series because it was super cute, but this one's a close second. Okay, now to put these into some sound effects, let's look at our animatronics. It's our Galactic Snack and Grogu! And you got four interactive accessories. And you can see we got the Edward Squidward tentacles there, and you got the cookie. Yeah, actually have a spoon, and then you got a little ball. And it's supposed to make some sounds depending upon which uh, item you have. And you can see on this side, you got them with the cookie and then with the spoon. And then on the other side, you have the uh, tentacles and the ball. And then a little bit more information on the back. And it's mm, wow. So he's happy when you feed him. And then look, it says reaches up to be held. Only can be held for 10 minutes before you need to burp him or need to change his diapers. We will find undigested tadpoles. Is that real? <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> camera mom. <laughs> I just make it up as I go because I get bored and camera mom's like, is that serial? If it wasn't camera mom, man, this would be too serious. And look, it forces moves. He has 40 plus cute sounds and motion combinations. Reacts to funny snacking accessories. So yeah, he'll react to them somehow. Grogu, close your mouth when that thing's squirming around your mouth. Get a grip on it, man. Swallow it before it gets out. Oh, and for this, it takes uh, four AA batteries, not included. Let's just see how good he sounds. No, he's not. Okay. Okay, there's the instructions manual. Okay, we got his snacks underneath here. Oh, that's a huge ball. Look at that. And I guess that little extension means he can maybe possibly put it in his hand or something. Okay, yeah, it's probably something he can hold on to. So there's his cookie. I just mint green cookies. <laughs> <laughs> and there's his spoon. Do you have a family member that's just like a Grogu that eats nasties? <laughs> Put it below. Let's shame them into not eating those things anymore. <laughs> oh, look at that. Man, that's huge. Oh, look at that mustard. Oh, that's just nasty. I was going to say pea green soup. It's got the texture it looks like it, but it's yellow green mustard yellow soup. Yeah, Mandel tells him not to play this food. Go oh, with that stuff, what do you do with it? <laughs> okay, then at the bottom, our grill goo is strapped in pretty tight, so we got to use wire cutters. Oh, he's even strapped in at the neck. There we go. And there's our Grogu. And look, look at the top, he's got gray hairs. This is more like him, you know? And he's got little ripples right here. I mean, he's become an old man before time, you know? <laughs> he's got gray hairs and he's got furrows right above him, wrinkles. Okay, so for the batteries, it's at the bottom here. You can see that we need to unscrew it to put the batteries in. And it looks like a Phillips screwdriver, but it's one of those weird Phillips screws that's not a complete Phillips screw. It does look like it, but it's got a longer line through it. I think the regular flathead would be best. I'm gonna go ahead and... Okay, so there you go. All four batteries. Okay, then once you have the batteries in, it's just a simple on off. Turn them on, see what happens. So first thing we wanna do is just to stroke his head. There's something to it. Let's find out. He wants to be picked up. <laughs> I think his tummy was growling. Yeah, now it's time to feed him. Wait, we got one more thing to do. We actually have to pat him on the head three times. Go. He's a baby. He's a good boy. Whoops. Somebody did a dunkle. Let's go ahead and give him his uh, squid legs. Okay, we gotta wait for him to stop. Yes, you can have this. So he knows that when he's eating. Here, let's take this out. Uh, now he's angry. Quick, before he uses the force, give him a cookie. Right. Don't cry. Cookie. really munch on that cookie that's so cool looking okay how about we take this out and we give you the ball go ahead have a ball there we go he's using the force to get the ball you hear that that eerie tone okay grogu now oh don't worry we're gonna spoon feed you Okay, he's got TMJ. <laughs> oh, let's put the spoon actually right and see what happens. Hold on. There we go. Man, 
man, that is too cool, guys. Guys, out of all the Grogu collections, this is in my top favorites. I mean, we did Series 1. You want to watch that one. That one was super cool. The first video we did on Grogu and the Series 1 of the Bounty Collection, that was awesome. But guys, I think these are just as cute as the Series 1. And this guy, out of all the animatronics, he's my favorite. And hey, we could be your favorite too. Like and subscribe, and we'll have more that will be coming soon. You'll be notified. Woo! Please click on one of these videos for more events and fun.